Hi, my name is John Dean from Product Support Manufacturing and today we'll be discussing uh, dynamic licensing and how it works with the Inventor Suite of products. Okay, I've just started uh, Inventor Professional for the first time and let's have a look and see which license has actually been consumed by the product. So we can see that we're actually using uh, an Inventor Suite license and not a professional license. Okay, so let's create a new assembly. So there we have our new assembly and just before we start we'll just double check and see if the license has changed at all and we can see now we're still using the uh, Inventor Suite license. So let's create a part, a customary uh, rectangular block um, and add it to the assembly and then we're going to uh, create a, a, sim a simulation. Okay, so there we have our part. Let's return to the assembly and go to the environment tab and create a stress analysis. It's the fact that we've actually gone in and selected the, uh, the function that will uh, tell the license manager to up the ante and move from a sweet license to a simulation license. Okay, so let's move on and uh, from creating the simulation, let's now go and uh, go into the tube and pipe environment. Now, because we've already used a level two license, which is the simulation uh, suite license, uh, when we go into the tube and pipe environment, then we have to move up another level. So we will have actually uh, take a full professional license. And we'll just have a look at that in a moment. So, we finish our tube and pipe, go back to our uh, dialogue and see that we're actually using a Inventor Professional Suite license. Okay, so let's go and have a look and see what happened in the background. Uh, I'm just going to open up my remote desktop, which is uh, my uh, FlexLM server. We're going to have a look in LM Tools and look in the uh, debug log file and just have a look at the uh, licensing information that's in there. So this is our activity so far. And we can see that uh, 1047, we've uh, taken a Inventor Suite license. We can see that the uh, simulation license was taken out. And then immediately afterwards, you can see that the uh, Inventor Suite license was returned. Then we moved on to um, the tube and pipe environment and we can see that the professional license was taken out and almost instantly the uh, simulation license was returned. So all the uh, license activity is documented in the debug log file.
Okay, now we're going to look at um, borrowing and um, <clears throat> we're going to borrow uh, an Inventor license. Uh, I've just restarted Inventor so we're back to where we started on the uh, Inventor Suite license. So we've, uh, we're going to borrow it just for a day. We're going out on site to do some work and we have to remember that what you see is what you get and we've actually only borrowed an Inventor Suite license. So if we go out on site and start doing tube and pipe work then we're not going to be successful. We're going to get a license error. So I'm just going to generate a new assembly and then we'll move over to the uh, <coughs> my remote desktop and I'll turn off the uh, the FlexLM service. This will um, act as though I've gone on site and I've got no network available to me. So we just quickly turn off the uh, FlexLM service. So now we'll try and move up from a level one license to a level two. So we're just going to quickly create uh, another part. We'll be inventive this time and uh, create a circular block. So there we go. And back to the uh, environment tab. And let's have a look and see what happens when we try and run the stress analysis. So there we can see we get an error message. It can't find a license because it was wanting to go up to the next level and it can't do that. License could not be obtained. Okay, so how do we actually borrow a professional license? Well, I've just restarted uh, Inventor and uh, we're back to our uh, suite license. I will just open up an assembly. Now, as I mentioned earlier, what you see is what you get. So we've actually got to get up to level level three if we want to borrow a professional license. And the only way we can do that, of course, is to run uh, the function, the appropriate functions. So we've qu quickly uh, jumped into simulation, and that's taken us up to level two as we can see from the dialogue. So we've got our professional simulation license. And now we want to uh, jump up another level. So we need to uh, move into the uh, tube and pipe environment. And that will take us up to level three. Once at level three, we can then <coughs> borrow a professional license. So now we're in the professional environment, in the tube and pipe environment, sorry. Finish that off and double check that we have moved up to level three. And there that confirms it. Got a inventor professional suite license. So at this stage we could uh, go and borrow the license and be uh, sure that we're going to get level three. We can verify by looking in the uh, debug log file we can see that we've taken out a professional license and we've almost instantly returned the simulation license so at this stage we're pretty confident that if we borrow a license we go on site we're going to be able to do the job So, 
successful. Uh, just to finish off, just to prove the point. There we have it. Borrowed level 3 license. Okay, so up to now we've not mentioned uh, AutoCAD Mechanical at all. And uh, what does, uh, role does that play in the uh, licensing environment? So I've just started uh, AutoCAD Mechanical and because I've got Mechanical and uh, Inventor licenses available to me um, I've actually borrowed a Mechanical 2010 license as you can see there. So what happens uh, when I say run uh, Inventor? Um, do I use both licenses, or an Inventor license as well as a uh, Mechanical license? Or do we do some switching? Well, let's just start up Inventor and uh, take a look. So So we know that Inventor will obviously take a, an Inventor license, um, more than likely a, an Inventor Suite license, and we'll just verify that. So there we have it, we've got an Inventor Suite license, and we're running Mechanical in the background, so what's happened to Mechanical now? Has that switched or is it still using the mechanical license? Well, we can confirm here that it's actually moved up and it's using the Inventor Suite license. So that would assume that it's returned the mechanical license. Well, let's just double check that. We'll go to our remote uh, desktop and have a look at the debug log file again. And moving down the list, we can see that we uh, took out a mechanical license. We then took out an inventor uh, suite license and returned the mechanical license. So that just proves that we're not actually using two licenses, we're just using the one. And the mechanical license has been returned uh, for another user.